Oh, snap. Yo, school is right around the corner. I bet you didn't even think about it, hun. Or you forgot. Well, don't be worried because I got five things that you need to know before the first day of school. Or if you already started school, you can take these tips and go ahead and use them throughout the first week. Alright, let's get into the video. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Savvy Joe, and today I'm gonna be helping out all you guys that are struggling, alright? I know some of y'all are about to start school, and some of y'all already in school, but I know you're not ready, bruh, because I know how it is. You were never ready for school, okay? So I'm gonna give you five things that you need to know so you can go ahead and be prepared for what's coming at you real fast, okay? So before we get into this video, man, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new, because I got some lit content you can check out. You can go ahead and look at all my other videos, man, you know, because we turn, we lit over here. Also, if you like this video, man, you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for your boy one time. It doesn't take too long. Just go ahead and click it right up top, and that's all you gotta do, bro, okay? So I'm not gonna hold you guys up any longer. We go ahead and get into the video, man. Hey, my motto is, Savvy Joe went through it, so you wouldn't have to, okay? So we're about to get into thing number five. Be ready for school. It's easy. Bro, get a haircut, you know what I'm saying? You won't be on the first day of school not having a haircut. You know, get the haircut, you know, have your teeth brushed, you know what I'm saying? You know, have your clothes laid out, ironed, you know what I'm saying? You know how that goes, because when your first day of school, I know you're anxious and everything, so have your clothes laid out already, you know, ready, bing, bing, foul, ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Have your hair cut. See right now, I got this hat on because I don't have a cut. Yeah. I know. I look gross. Because on the first day of school, or the first week of school, actually the whole first week, you want to make a good impression, okay? You want to make a great impression on maybe a girl, maybe be a, if you're a girl, maybe a boy, maybe the teachers. You know, you want to have a good first impression. You want to be that kid coming into school looking dirty, clothes wrinkled. You ain't got your shape up right, you know, your Eddie sticking out. You got an Eddie like me, or maybe you, you got a beard. You know what I'm saying? If you got a beard, have your beard trimmed up nice, man. Don't go in there looking like me, man. You, you don't want to do that, you know what I'm saying? So just be prepared. Haircut. Brush your teeth, cause ain't nobody gonna talk to you. No, if a girl wanna talk to no boy, no stanky breath, and definitely ain't no dude gonna talk to no girl, no stanky breath, cause I know I will not talk to no girl, no stanky breath. Okay. Thing number four, take your ass to bed. Go to sleep, bruh. Trust me, because when I remember when I was go uh, going to school, it was an elementary school, middle school, high school. It don't matter what grade you're in, how old you are, go to sleep, bro. Because I remember times I used to stay up all night and I'd be sitting there, you know, chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'd have a cell phone back then, but I did have a Game Boy. We had a little light plugged into, you know, the light and the battery die. It's old school, man. If you didn't have a Game Boy Color, hey, bro, it's all good. I would stay up all night, you know, chilling, not ready to go to bed, not, not going to sleep, you know? If you go to sleep, you get up early. Then you eat a good breakfast. You eat that breakfast, it works. I know the teachers and the parents saying, oh, eat a hearty breakfast. It makes you feel better. It keeps you awake, gives you more energy. It's true though. You gotta do these things, man, because if you don't, you're gonna be at school tired on the first day. You're gonna have bags up on your eyes. Ladies, I know you understand you don't like to have, you know, you wear your makeup, you can hide it. Fellas, <laughs> we can't hide no, we can't hide no bags under our eyes, bro. Take your ass to bed. Yeah, I said it. Take your ass to bed. Wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? If you get to school early, if you can make it to school early, go ahead and get your, your breakfast at school. Breakfast at school is not that bad. You got that, you know what I'm saying? You're good to go. And, you know, you're going to have a great day, fun-filled day. And that's how you keep the energy. And you're going to win all the time. Number three. That was six, but three. Take advantage of your first day of school, bruh. First day of school, the teachers know if, well, if you're in middle school, you got periods, you know, go to different periods in your classes. High school, you got different periods, stuff like that. Elementary school, I'm sorry, you really can't take advantage of this advice, but you can still listen to prepare you for when you do get in middle school and high school, okay? Take advantage of this day because this is the day when you are new, you know what I'm saying, and you don't know what's going on. Well, act like you don't know what's going on if you're at a new school. If you're at the same school, oh, well, well, act like you don't know what's going on if you're at the same school, but act like you don't know where your classes are. You know what I'm saying? I used to hang out in the hallways, so I'd be looking for my classes, stuff like that. I'd say, okay, first period, I got so-and-so, and so class A, hall B, whatever, so-and-so teacher. Second period, I got so-and-so teacher, blah, 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 class, and this hall up here. Bruh, I act like I didn't know where I was going. So I was late to every class. So at that time, that's the time where you know you're gonna hook up with your friends, hang out in the hallways, you know what I'm saying, chill by the locker. Maybe it's that one girl you saw, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you wanna holler? That's your time to go do that. Maybe it's that one boy you saw. That's the one time you go make that impression on him right then and there. But at these times during the first day and the first week. After that, don't come, don't come blaming me, bro. Talking about, 
bro, you told me to be hanging out in the hallways, taking advantage of the time. I didn't say that, bro. Remember this. I said throughout the first day and the first week. Act lost, bro. Because, you know, everybody's going to accumulate and stuff like that. The teacher's going to let you slide throughout the first time. You know what I'm saying? They're going to let you get by with all the little BS. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's okay, Savvy. It's okay. You was late. It's okay. You know, do your thing. Take advantage of your time. If this is your time to take advantage. Don't lose that moment of opportunity. Thing number two. Okay, now this is something that's, that's kind of serious. This is kind of for the, like the older older people, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I know in the summertime you had your little summer fling, you know what I'm saying? You know, you the girl you were talking to or the boy you were talking to. Go ahead and set that straight right now because you don't want to be at school and, you know, old girl or old boy come up to you and say, oh, you know, what's good, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, we talking, blah, 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 and it uh, curvy. So you need to find out right now What's good? What's going on? Are we talking? Are we not talking? Do you like me? Do you want to take the relationship on further or not? Because cause there's nothing worse than when you ask school and you got this girl claiming, talking about, now that's my boy. Or you got this uh, boy over here talking about, yeah, that's my girl. And it's not even like that. Y'all were just talking to something. Y'all were just friends, just texting buddies. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all got that under control. Get that right, right now. You do not want to be caught out there with your pants down. Not literally. But you want to be caught there with your pants down. You know what I'm saying? You be talking to this chick or you be talking to this dude. And old boy, old girl come up, you know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, what are you doing? I thought we was cool. I thought we was talking. We were, you know, texting stuff like that. And you be like, I mean, we were, but I mean, that was just the summer. Get that nipped in the bud right now, bro. Or, or, or girl, you know what I'm saying? Or sis, get that knocked in the, not nipped in the bud right now. You want to get that taken care of right now. Trust me. You do not want the trouble, you know, fighting and stuff like in that first week of school or that awkwardness and stuff like that. And you want to hurt nobody's feelings. I know, so, oh, he's soft. Do you feelings? Yeah, people have feelings. Guys have feelings too. It's just not girls. So guys, you know, we got feelings too. Don't be sitting there front and like, I ain't got feelings. Feelings? What you mean, feelings, bro? We got feelings too. You know what I'm saying? Because. You know, that girl might be pretty. You know, you was feeling that girl in the summertime. So don't be shy. Let her know. Be like, hey, I was feeling you this summer. You know what I'm saying? Texting everything. Females do the same thing. Let, let him know. Hey, I was feeling you this summer. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, when school starts, you know, let's kind of keep this exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it exclusive. We can keep it, you know, keep it going on throughout the school. But that's up to y'all. You know how it goes. Savvy Joe went through it, so you wouldn't have to. Numero uno, number one, the grand, the number one, the maestro, the main number one. Go to school. Y'all thought it was gonna be something else, huh? Nope, go to school, bruh. Go to school, get good grades, be good. That's all you gotta do, fam, it's that easy. You only have to do it for so long. Go to school, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know your parents, your grandma, grandpa, you know, guardian, sis, whoever's taking care of you, whoever's that guardian over you watching you, they are rooting for you, you know what I'm saying? They are depending on you to, you know, to go ahead and get these good grades and stuff like that. It's not a whole bunch of pressure. They don't pressure you. They just they just want you to do well and to, to become something better in life, you know what I'm saying? They just want you to do really, really good. I was in school, and I went to school a lot. I had perfect attendance most of the time. I really didn't miss school like that, you know? Stay out of trouble, bro, because getting in trouble can lead you up in places where... You know, bad places like I wouldn't be here right now if I got in trouble a lot because it would have took me on the wrong road, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So if you know, if you're working on yourself and you know you're trying hard, you know you in there and you you getting these uh your homework, you know, you're doing your tests and everything, you're not passing, bruh, go harder. Sis, go harder, go harder, go stronger, you know, just keep studying harder. You will get it, trust me. It's like this YouTube thing, it's a grind, just keep grinding and grinding and grinding, and one day eventually it will pop off, you know what I'm saying? Just keep working hard as you can and, and, and doing what you do because in, in one day it will all pay off. Just keep working as hard as you can. Keep on grinding. Keep on pushing through. If anybody ain't got your back, I got your back. If you need help, hit me up on my Instagram. Hit me up on my Snapchat. Hit me up on here in the comments down below. You know, just let me know, man. I, I'll give you a little bit of advice. I'm trying. I'm trying to help you guys out because I know how it is, you know. All right, y'all. So that right there was the five things you need to know before school starts, man. This is the Savvy Joe version, man. You know, I'm just giving it to y'all like my, my, like you, my cousin, my brother, sister, you know what I'm saying? That's why I call y'all Savvy fam, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving it to you like how I would somebody else, okay? So I ain't no super expert, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling and letting y'all know how it be, okay? So if you like this video, go ahead and give this video a like. If you love this video, you thought this man, this dude's giving some great advice, man. He's funny, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy one time. If you haven't seen my last videos, go ahead and click these little spots right here, you know what I'm saying? My other videos right here, check that out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You know, you guys are going to be the best. Trust me, man. I know you guys are going to be great. Awesome. School's going to start going to be amazing. Everybody's going to be your friend. Trust me. You know why? Because you know Savvy Joe. And let them know you know Savvy Joe. All right? I'm out. Peace.